dreams in the desert. <laughs> Have you ever found yourself in a predicament that you don't want to be in, but God put you there, so it's kind of hard to fight against it? Well, with this camera, we're beginning to kind of get used to it because we're trying to get rid of it by this weekend because I'm going out to get my orbit sphere, the one that I had before back, I hope, I think, maybe, I'm not sure. <laughs> I've been talking to my producer and my director and they seem to like the idea of this wide angle because then I can include them in the shot. Hmm. I don't know if I could put up with their morning routine or the fact that they're always watching me, kind of like God does, always watching you, everything you do, everywhere you go, even in the bathroom, even in the bedroom, shame on you, even on the internet, what have you been doing there? <laughs> So, in experimenting with this wide angle, we decided to just try it and see how long it takes to upload, which may be days and days, but we'll find out. So, in Streams in the Desert today, Joseph, Joseph's master, took him and put him into prison. But the Lord was with Joseph. Had to make sure that I was reading the right day. Stay out of the way. You're in my shot. You're taking credit for what God is doing. And that which he did, the Lord made to prosper. When God lets us go to prison because we have been serving him and goes there with us, prison is about the most blessed place in the world that we could be in. Joseph seems to have known that. He did not sulk and grow discouraged and rebellious because everything was against him. If he had, the prison keeper would never have trusted him. So Joseph did not even seem to have pitied himself. He didn't care. He was there. So he made the best of it. Some of you call that when you got lemons, make lemonade. But frankly, if that were true, why are you protesting President Obama so much? <laughs> oh, well, I don't mind voting maybe someone else in office. But do you think the hatred has gone a little too far? Hmm. I wonder what old Joe would do in the same situation. I wonder what we should do in the present circumstance. Let us remember that if self-pity is allowed to set in, and that is the end of us, until it casts us utterly from us, it will just devastate us until we remove it. Joseph just turned over everything in joyous trust to God. And so the keeper of the prison turned over everything to Joseph. Hmm. Lord Jesus, when the prison doors close in on me, keep me trusting and keep my joy full and abounding. Prosper thy work through me in prison and even there make me free indeed. If you find yourself that you're broke and out of work and don't have anything to do, but somehow you have time to be on the internet, I think I got a message for you. Do the ministry. <laughs> do the do. Oh, wait a minute. You have a smartphone? Hey, you know, maybe you could forward things that people are doing in the ministry to other people that aren't in the ministry so that you would be a ministry yourself. So the ministry would be the ministry of ministering to ministers. Hmm. Sounds ministerial to me. <laughs> Get busy. Do it. Wherever you are, whatever it is you're doing, just turn it over to the Lord. Relax. You're where you're supposed to be. You're doing what you're supposed to be. And if you blew it and got stuck in prison, and, you know, suffering the consequences, get saved and then get someone else saved. Or if you're in poverty and, you know, you're stressed out, try sharing that stressed out with someone else who's dying. Or, as a matter of fact, maybe, just maybe, you could read them a devotional and put that on the internet.